Hello Gearfest. I found this in the waterworks with your name on it. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Kasatum. Where did you find this? In a web in the waterworks, you say? This belonged to my great 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 grandfather, whose name I now bear. Thank you for bringing it to me. Well, that's a lot of greats. Now, what else do we have? See, I also managed to bring up my reputation up over here, and I'm kindred now with the Iron Garrison. Would there be a trophy from Durin's Bane? And there should be a book. Let's see. The Jolly Hunters. The Book of Nature. There it is. Minimum level 58. Requires kindred standing with the Iron Garrison Guards. We shall buy that. Alright, there we go. And I completed that deed. That gives me a trait point. And I should have gotten a trait point from... Completing the first three parts of the class quest. So does it mean I have two ready for me? Well, actually, I've got three ready for me. Ooh, the menagerie! I've got the menagerie now. Yay! Yeah, I know. That's the first thing I go after. Then... There you go. Sick'em. I just love that skill. And I'm just waiting to sick them onto something. And with the Drowned Treasury coming up, I think I got plenty of things to use as bait. Alright, Bori, I have brought back the list. I think this is the one, my friend. Welcome back, Pine Wolf. Tell me about the chambers you discovered. From the room plaques you saw, I may be able to discern which one is mentioned in the Book of Mazerbul, the Armory Oin Sot. The Hall of Mithril. Yes, I think that must be it, Pine Wolf. Well done. Well done. We are close to victory. I can sense it. Imagine how unstoppable we will be if we could retrieve Ziegelbert from the darkness of the past. I would fear no attack of the orcs that much for certain. I have a good feeling about this. The Hall of Mithril must certainly be the armories which Oin sought. If only we had found them in time, the Tours of Baleen's expedition might have survived. It is too late for them, friend, but not for us. We will travel to the Hall of Mithril in search of these armories. Speak to me when you are ready. Yes, let us go. In the flooded depths of Moria was a great axe Ziegelberg lost. Few have ever tried to find it, and fewer ever return from their quests. Who now remains to challenge the shadows that linger in the dark halls of the deep places? If you and your allies can clear the flooded passages that lie between Gundlajan and Gangaraf, we might yet find the armories written about in the Book of Mazerbul. Could it be that we might find Ziegelbert there? I hope so, Pine Wolf. I find as unlikely as I'll be able to pronounce those names. If the records I have studied are to be believed, dwarves erected great mechanisms here to seal off several of the passages when the Greybeak grew too numerous. You will need to deal with the creatures and learn the means of operating the mechanisms to clear the way. I will follow you once I have finished examining the map of these places, for it is very confusing and we will need to keep our bearings. In other words, after I solved everything, you will come and help me. I am sure that's going to be the way of it. It's the usual way of it, isn't it? Very well. Uh, let's head down and start our little trip. A rumbling from the bottom. And we go deeper. Uh, oh, yes, these things. It, it might be helpful if I actually pay attention to what's going on in the area before I do and fight fighting them. Yep. 
see, this is level 59. I think it's a good time to turn back on experience before I go down too far. It appears that despite their best efforts, some of the great big got out and are about. And we've got everything in here. Better see what the cooldown is for for the menagerie. Because I know there are a couple places where I'm definitely going to be needing it. So I, I don't want to prevent myself from using it then. But if I could use it a few times before then, it would not hurt. Well, it will hurt the insects. Now let's see. Cool down. Oh, that's command pet. Maybe I better... Okay, two minutes. Uh, two minutes isn't too bad. But... I will swap these because I was expecting them to be in the other order. Good. Now we may proceed. Assuming we can find something that is worthy of our attention. Maybe I ha should have started off with the... You first. Started off with the sticky gourd. That way I could handle them all at once. Hey, now there's damage multiples at the start, so therefore let us try that little strategy here. As soon as sticky gourd is off a of cooldown, that's probably why, because of the long cooldown on sticky gourd. There you go. See, now they're both damaged as a result of that. And then I could take care of this. Good. Yeah, okay, this isn't worthy of a menagerie. So I might just try a menagerie just to... Just to delight in it. Sick em, sick em! They'll go after him. Yeah. <laughs> That's the definition of making short work of something. Now let's turn the wheel. Yep. I believe this is the one where we had to find several of them before we'll be done. Then we'll turn this wheel. Good. Ah, uh, yeah. And then we get Grimmig! Uh, not too bad. As long as it w wasn't one of these super powerful ones or something like that. When I go against the Queens, Sikkim will really be handy in that to lighten our load down a little bit, so to speak. Now, that means... Oh, actually, isn't there another wheel down here? Yeah. There is number three. Oh, no, 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 no. That was number two. The... Oh, this is where I go? No. Mm. Or did opening that passage create the opening I needed? Oh, that's because there's another mass here. Okay, I was confusing parts of the adventure, apparently. I had forgot that there are two sections where they just blast out at you. And you go down, you go down, and now that's the third wheel. And we can get out of here. Now, this is where I go now, I think. Good, I hope so. Now, let's see which direction. I think this way. This way. This way. A place where you can get lost several ways around. 
like ah here we are next room toads we need toads now we are going to have the matriarch toad come through here at some point and that's the main one to worry about and that's the one that's going to be worth a sickum a sickum reserved for a really big toad. And it appears that the matriarch has arrived. Yeah, there she is. Hello there. Hey, can, can I still do this? There you go. Now time to start a really nice combat, which of course with a full set of animals. How's that? Let's see how fast she goes down this time. <laughs> the full menagerie really did its work. <laughs> and that remaining... <laughs> oh, the remaining toad really did not like its life. This way, I think? Ah, oh, yes. This room. More Gredvig! And... And I think this is the one where we wind up facing against the... Two Queens or something like that. In other words, it's going to be... Painful! But maybe a little bit less painful though when... The when the menagerie comes out and beats one down to a pulp. Now I got to get through all of these without getting through having to fight too many of these at once. And I have to be careful because I think those matriarchs just like to come out. Actually, or is this the one where we get the. Now this is more likely the one with the matriarchs. I think it's the next area where we get that big huge spider that comes out at just suddenly. And of course we get more of these wonderful wheels. Stone wheel number one. Low grinding, nothing else. A terrifying grinding, I think, a little bit. All right, number two. Right. Now, I think if I go too far in this, I may find myself facing those queens. Therefore... Yeah, I am taking care of this guy first. Make sure I don't go too far, because I think if I go too close, and I'll get the queens, and I don't want to be facing them at the same time as this, but completed Grandbox Lair! But I suspect when I approach that wheel is when I'm going to get jumped. All right, so I was wrong. Number three. Okay, good. I think one more near this area. Ah, here they are. Let me find some place to fight them. I would prefer to have done that on land. Much prefer to have done that on land. I, I think sick of my said something about that. Oh! Ah! Anti stun would also help. Uh. What? Really? Okay! Uh, the menagerie for the win. Is, is that it? 
I think. I thought there was one more of these wheels I had to turn, but maybe. Oh, there it is right there. If I can get up this stupid thing. I think that's the last one. No, that's one I've already. D oh, that's right. That's the first one I did. All right, let's go down this thing and see if it leads where I need to go. More grid big, so I guess it is where I need to go. And I think this is the one where the extra spider comes out. So let's keep that in mind. But we know what can kill that spider. Those two queens really went down so fast. But once I had the menagerie out, they went down before I could blink. That. They must have. He must have had inspiring greatness on each of the pets. So you could just imagine all of those pets coming out at once, each of them with inspired greatness. And just ripping through the. Uh, the two queens, like shreds. Oh, 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 uh, speaking of the deadly spiders. Okay. And now uh, I think I said something about Sikkim. And yeah, Sikkim, Sikkim, Sikkim? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna die. You die, you die, you die, you die, and you die. I think that takes care of that. Ooh, to be a lore master. Now, where's the way out? Oh, I think I just answered my question. The way out is this way. Into spiders. Well, this time I'll try to take them at a lower rate at a time. At least I don't have to worry about one of them being a pew pew and staying behind. Hey, 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 hey. Target the one that's trying to kill me. Don't worry about the ones that aren't trying to kill me. Ah, the joys of tab targeting. You just go down and now to clear out the rest of this room. With those spiders cleared out, it's just time to head downstairs and find the big spider. I'll just clear out a couple in the way, but I suspect that once we get the mother spider, we won't have to worry about too much because She is going to fall down to the menagerie in a similar fashion to many of the other spiders and amphibians and insects that we have encountered so far. I think that's. I think that is well in enough. So now, let us bring out our friends. Hey! Look! Look at that big spider! Sicker! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that was. <laughs> oh, I love that ability. <laughs> Alright, we are cleared! Hey! I knew you'd arrive as soon as everything was gone! If I am right, we should be very near the upper armories. I wonder how well Sikkim works against the Watcher. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. Not for the Watcher, probably, but... Let's see what we've got. Uh, let us head down and down and down into Watcher Town. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Broin is alive. How about that? Uh, hello, Broin. How are you doing? Uh, okay, you're not doing well. Uh, we'll see if we can get you out of here. Hey, the beast. 
In the water. Beware. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Can't believe someone came for me. All right, are we all ready for the watcher? Well, let's see. I've got another 20, 30 seconds, but I can take care of some things before then. Oh, hello. Okay. Keep up anti stun. Yeah. This this cat should help a bit. Now I think at some point you go against the watcher itself, which is what I'm waiting for here. And next tentacle. Now I figure when I go against the main watcher. I could be able to rip it to shreds. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how the menagerie does against the Watcher. Hey, jump inside! Bath time! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Broin, how are you doing? I need your help, my friend. Are you really here, my friends? Is this some um, apparition? <coughs> <coughs> the beast brought me to this place, thinking to save me for later. I, I expect one of its victims bore this. It is all bones now, but I owe him my life. Whoever he was, I could keep the beast at bay. With the act made of me thrill, but did not have the strength to escape. I would surely have starved. You say Brory is here with you? What a wonder! I shall give him a surprise, I expect. Good old Brory! Oh, and he'll be certainly surprised if you're holding that axe. Let's go. Through the heroic efforts of the heroes of Eriador, Broin is brought out alive from the flooded depths of Moria. From the mists of legend, he brings with him the mithril axe, Siegelberg. Will the axe be enough to sway the balance of power in Moria? Or have the dwarves already suffered too many losses? I would call that a successful venture, Bori. We not only found the axe, but we also found your cousin. We are heroes, my friend. Beinwolf, we are heroes. Broin still lives, and the mithril axe Ziegelberg has come out of the darkness just at our time of greatest need. Can you believe our good fortune? Why, at this rate, in a week's time, we will surely drive the last orc howling like a cur from Moria. Well, I'm glad to hear that you are greatly optimistic. Is this optimism justified? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Lore Master.